So if you didn't see my last video, I was talking about, I always do that, I come back to do Kung Fu. I was talking about my website and how stale it was, how dead it was. And I got a question on Insta, asking me about my website. Is this wind? It's windy out there. So I got a question on Insta, asking me about my website and how they can have one place to sell their beats. So, so another great topic for a video. So I'm going to show you what plugin I use for my website. It's a WordPress website and with a plugin theme that I use. And yeah, it's just, it's cool. So easy to use. It's, it's continually getting updated by the creator. It don't really cost that much as well for the plugin. I'm not affiliated by them. This ain't a sponsored video. So what I'm telling you is what is working for me. And I'm going to share that with you. So you can have a decent looking website and you don't end up having a trash looking website like how I did when I first started. Because you don't want that. You want it to look, you want it to look prestige. What's going on YouTube fans? KC, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So if you watch my other videos, you know that I'm always going on about having a website and how important it is. I think it's important. If you're in a place where you can afford to run it and keep it maintained and up to date and you're looking to expand and grow your business, then why wouldn't you? Before we jump to that video, let me quickly shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out Ivy Kelly Morris and KOC TV. Thank you both for hitting the subscribe button. I appreciate that a lot. And now I say it all the time, I really do appreciate it. Best comment for this week's coming from Chris Swalch. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for being part of the community. And I hope you get more value from the videos that I put out. Right, we've got that out of the way. Let's dive in. So there's a couple of things you're gonna to need to get yourself up and running to get your website live. That's your domain name plus your hosting. So the hosting will allow you to have your website running throughout the year. I'm using GoDaddy at the moment. It's okay, there's others out there. So just do a quick Google search, see what you can find that works for you. That's the first thing you wanna do. Just look into how much it's gonna cost you, what's your budget and whether or not it's something that you wanna move forward with. Bear in mind, having your website, it's an investment. I always look at things like this. When you're spending money on your business, it's an investment. So don't look at it as a loss, when, especially when it comes to taxes, filing taxes and that as well. It's not a loss. I don't wanna to get too deep into the tax thing cause I'm not an accountant, but just know that what you're spending in your business is all good. Get the main name and the hosting. The next thing you want to do is get a WordPress account. So once you've set up and created your WordPress account, link your WordPress account to your domain name. And then once you go into the back end of WordPress, you'll be able to install the theme, the producer website theme, the one that which I use. So the next thing to do is go and purchase the, the hip hop maker theme. The music maker theme is currently $55. So that works out to be about 40 pound. And that's for a lifetime license. So you don't have to keep going back and having to buy a new license. Once it's bought, it's bought, it's yours. All you're going to be doing is getting updates from the actual creator of the website who is on job and always looking out for us producers. I highly recommend using this plugin. It's one of the best plugins I've seen. Before I got this website, which was around 2015, I looked around and I seen other websites and it, they seemed to like cost a lot more at the time. And obviously just starting off, I didn't have the money to spend on an actual website. This one here, is decent i like it i've been using like i said i've been using it since 2015 so i wouldn't recommend something that wasn't decent for you to use so once you've got that plugin download it and install it if you get stuck just follow the easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions from the creator of the website it's, it's so straightforward it's really easy to use if you've ever used wordpress before or you ask anyone who's used wordpress before it's just it, the back end so easy to use and uh, you do well to get stuck Let's just quickly jump in the computer. I'm going to show you what the back end of WordPress looks like and how you can change the different features and customize the plugin once you've installed it onto your WordPress. So you've set up your Music Maker theme. I think I might have called it Hip Hop Maker earlier. I, I always confuse it for some reason. Plugin activated. Now you want to customize. I just want to quickly show you the back end of Music Maker theme and the, the different things that you can do with it, the different things you can add so you can get your, your website looking half decent. So you're going to go to customize. And all these things that I'm telling you, you can easily find on the help page of Music Maker Theme, like I said earlier. Parents, customize. So this will be the back end of the Music Maker Theme, which allows you to change the header, add in titles, change the color, change the font, change the font size, have your branding colors on there, put a logo on there if you want. You can even put production credits, people that you've worked with, testimonials like what I've got on here. And all you need to do basically is just click on for example, testimonials, type what you need to type in, put videos in there if you want. What I like with this Music Maker theme as well, it gives you the option to create a homepage and then have like a separate page for your beat store, which they, you couldn't do that before on there. So this is what I mean by the creator always updating it and keeping it current with what's going on 
today. Once you've done something on there, we have to do is just hit published and it's live. I'm not going to do nothing because I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to keep everything as it is. And then you can create different tabs. Every time you create a page, you can publish it. You can make it fit in the menu, so you can have it in the, the top of your bar here. So you can have different tabs at the top of your page. I've got my beat store. I've got my home page. I've got my custom beat pricing. I've got my mix and mastering services on there. Blog, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, amazing. Love this website. So to customize these different parts, I could just click on there, change the font style, change the font style. But if you want to actually create the page, then you have to go to pages, add new, and then create a page. I created a page yesterday for my product store, but I haven't put it in my menus bar. So I just want to quickly show you how I can put that into my menus bar, which was located at the top of my website. So I've got my merch page. I'm going to make it go live. It's a cheeky plug in it. So I'm going to make it go live and then put it in the tabs bar so you can see how easy it is to create a page and have it sitting at the top of your website. Excuse us a second, we've got cotton mouth. So what we've got to do is go to menus, I think it is, if I remember correctly. Yes, go to menus and then find the merch page, which was this one. Add to menu. Before I hit publish, I just want to show you first that it wasn't, it's not on the, my website. Top page. It's not in the tabs. So you can see there, it's not on it yet. So we've added it to the menu and I want it to sit in between blogs. Actually, I want it to sit on the product store. If you notice it's indented, so that means it's inside the actual product store. So it'd be not like on a drop down menu or you can just have it as its separate tab. It's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna hit save menu and see how that looks. If it's if it looks like it's too much text at the top and it's all too confusing, then I'm just gonna drop it into the product store and make it a drop down menu. All right, so I'm gonna refresh, refresh my page and there you have it. Look, KC Sounds merch looks good. Doesn't look like too much text, maybe could be. Let's see what it looks like with the products as a drop down menu product store and then you've got Casey Sounds merch. <sighs> I think that could be confusing. So I'm just going to leave it as two different tabs, merch and store. I'm going to change store to, to drum packs and then merch as merch. I'll do that now so you can see how easy it is. Save menu, change the name of my product store. So product store, edit, I'm not going to change that. We're just going to keep it as, I'm just going to change the title to drum packs and then we're going to hit update simple stuff so straightforward and now when i refresh the page we've got drum packs and then we've got kc sounds merch which is up and running so yeah all good that's how simple it is so cool absolutely love this website and like I said, the guy who's the creator of the website, cool. You can email him, he'll get back to you as quick as possible. And yeah, all is good. So the other thing to mention as well is how you're going to have all your beats in one place. So then on my beat store page, I've got my, my logo. You put your own logo there. You don't have to have a logo. You could have maybe buy two, get one free. Some kind of offer on there to reel some artists in. And then we've got some text, buy beats instantly. You've got the beats player, which is embedded from Airbit. I don't know how it works with BeatStars, but I'm guessing it will be the same thing. You decide on who you want to use, whether you want to use BeatStars or Airbit. I've been using Airbit since 2015, I think it was when I first started to sell beats online. This was when there was my flash store, so, and I've had no problems with them. They, they've they been cool, they, they, uh, the service is good, and get your beats out there when artists buy them straight away, there's no confusion. Only confusion was from my end when I didn't set up my PayPal properly, so don't make that mistake. Make sure you got everything running perfect, running smooth. Not, not perfect, because nothing's perfect. But make sure you, you got you get it as smooth as possible um, so it makes it streamlined and easy for the artist just to purchase the beat and get the, the agreement and so they can just hit the studio and record with no problems. If you want to put your Beats player onto your web page and you just embed the code, choose what code you want, you can make the colors sync in with your brand as well. So it's, it all looks cohesive. So next we've got like a little pricing info, which is good. Then we've got like another 
lease licensing and pricing table. Absolutely love that. I, I think that that table is uh, another plugin from WordPress. So just type in licensing table on WordPress. I'm sure but when you buy the plugin, it will tell you you can add to it as well. So it's, it just it's just like a follow on thing. You know as you go how to make your website look professional without having to pay out a whole heap of money if you don't have that type of money to pay. So it's just a bit of info here for the artists, download it instantly, protected payment, secure website, stuff that's to make them feel comfortable in purchasing on your site because that's important. Then we've got some frequently asked questions. You can set that up easily as well. I can't tell you how easy it is. Then we've got like a little productions, credits that I wanted to put in there, some testimonials, videos from artists that I've worked with, newsletter so you can collect emails build your mailing list like i was saying in my last video if you watched that one how to build your mailing list and how you can get artists to be on your on your mailing list if that's what you want to do but this website as well it doesn't have to be just for producers so if you're watching this and you're not a producer you're a music artist you can do exactly the same thing you can create exactly the same but geared to what you do so we've got services down here order and uh, you've got a little follow me on Instagram. I used to have like a carousel, but for some reason, the person that was running the, the plugin for that crashed my website. So you have to be careful as well with some of these plugins that you use on your WordPress because sometimes they don't get updated and they will crash your website. And then you have to go into the back end of your website and deactivate the plugin. But don't let that scare you off because like I said, I've been using this since 2015 and it's, it's cool. It's a decent solid platform and then at the bottom here i've just got like a little youtube channel for, subscribe to my youtube channel i put that video there because when artists come on to my website and they scroll down and they can see this video here saying how to get on spotify so that's a, like another little way of marketing and also showing some kind of authority so if you're doing videos like this you don't have to but if you're doing videos like this it will help to show authority in in your niche and what you do as a beat maker so yeah just do it so it looks pro. Don't over clutter it. If you're not sure, look around, look at my website, look at other producers' websites who you maybe look up to and see how they're doing things, how they're wording things. Success leaves clues. We're all here to learn. We're all here helping each other. We're all one community. So yeah, just do it, copy it if you have to, and then adapt it to your brand and how you want things to look. Whatever you do, don't do what I did. Create a website thinking, Yes, that's it. I'm fully fledged now. I'm a beat maker. I'm a producer. I'm, I'm, a, I'm selling beats now online. All these artists are going to come now and be buying beats off me and I can pack up the day job, hand my notes in and yeah, all of that. It's not going to happen. Sorry to sound brutal, but it's the truth. If you haven't created like a little following already, then it's going to be kind of hard to get artists over to your site. Even though it's hard, it's not undoable. It's undoable? Is that even the right word? Even though it's hard, it's doable. It can be done. There's ways of sending traffic to your website and getting artists to purchase these amazing beats, these fire beats that you've been creating. If you don't have to do that, I'm going to make a video showing some ways on how I push traffic to my website, which I think will help you. Got any questions? Feel free to hit me up on Insta. Always happy to help. I'll just drop a comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you and answer your question. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like these type of videos and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well because you're going to miss out on being part of the notification gang and you don't want to do that. As per usual, I appreciate your time.